Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And this is our first show in 2023. And we are here with a return guest that we haven't seen in almost two years. And we are here with Alejandra Palma Trujillo. How are you? I'm fine, but thanks for uh, for having me again in the yes. in the show. I'm really happy to be part of it. Uh, I had such a great time the first time we connected, and um, and and how we met, and everything we talked about back then was all about the world of um, LGBT travel, and especially um, not just LGBT travel, but how it ties in with Latin America. And you're from Chile, and um, yeah. but you're still uh, you're still very active in the in the tourism industry, still yes. Yes, I'm still very active in the tourism industry. Um, I'm working with a company located in San Pedro, Atacama, in the driest desert all over the world, um, and doing some other things as well. Yes, well, that's fantastic, because I know I've seen you also on tourism podcasts, and you keep yourself out there. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, it was an advice that I got from from Gabriel you know her from IGLT. I'm, I'm sorry, no, she's not from IGLTA. She's from Transform Journeys, I guess. I'm oh, okay. not sure. Oh, yes, yes. Gabriel Cl uh, Claiborne. Yeah, 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 Claiborne. I'm sorry, I forgot her last name. Yes, yes. But no, I know because that's the whole thing is that you're in the world of podcast tourism and you have a lot going on. You have a new podcast and it kind of yeah. ties into some of the changes that, have, that you've undergone over the last couple of years. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the space to talk about this. I, I would like to start by saying that at the beginning, because you know that I remember that the first time when we got together, we were just like mainly talking about the um, LGBTQ community travel for, for Latin America, as you said, but um, I already had planned in my head to start a transition because now I'm Alejandra officially. And um, I think that one of the things that I felt like I owe you on that talk was just this truth because I knew that it, it was coming. Yeah. And since the very beginning of my transition, I started to take some notes about how I could recognize some different episodes of my life on a trans person life that I felt that they were really challenging to me. So my podcast is dedicated to speak about this, to highlight those problems. And then there will be a final conclusion from my side explaining how I think that we can overcome to all of these conflicts, which is mainly looking to try to be heard, of course, by, by the community, but also for parents. I think that one of the things that we've seen every single time that we have any kind of problem with raising or discrimination kids, because I don't know why no one believes or remember that LGBTQ people also exist when they're really young. Yeah. Um, it's to make this connection to understand like we, we can avoid this. We can yeah. avoid this sad part of the history. So let's do that. Yeah. But you're, uh, but you're producing it not only in Spanish, but in English too, right? Yes, that's true. I decided to make an English and a version of Spanish because I wanted to be, um, as you said, I'm trying to be more exposed so I can be more connected with the community, with the travel industry, but also linked to the LGBTQIA plus community members. So we can have these two items combined because I have been working in tourism more than 10 years ago already. I'm about to turn 31 by the end of January, actually. And um. I want to mix this with my own experience because I'm a professional of the tourism industry and I am also a, a, a trans woman and I'm also an activist right now. I'm doing a lot of other things just to keep working on that line. And I want to, I, I think that I can mix them at some point. And that's yeah. exactly what I feel that it would be really interesting. Yeah. Well, it's also interesting The, you know, in years past, companies would come to me and say, oh, I want to reach transgender community and you know what magazine is out there what website and you know all these years there really has never been a magazine a print magazine nor nor any like large website that's dedicated to this community but over the last maybe say five to ten years the world of social media and the and the the, the community that that's put together has really like when it comes to the transgender community i find it's overwhelming sometimes like how much content how many how much how much inspirational messages and so how much is out there and i think you're just uh it's a great opportunity for you to be a part of that. Yeah, I mean, especially now that we can see that all the messages that we get from the companies that, for instance, I know that in the States, it's way more different than, than what we face or live here in Chile. 
And um, I'm trying to embrace this huge message to everyone. That's exactly what I'm being so out loud saying, like people in Chile who is trying to create like in inclusive environments for work, for any kind of places, but they forget that on the creative creativity process, they forget to include us. And it's the thing that we've seen that it's always been this huge trouble that people it's trying to make products or services dedicated to our community without having us on board. And they are trying to make this idea or what they think how we are. And this message comes with a lot of truth by my side. Say like, we are night, we are sparkles, we are shine, we are performances, but we are also people who needs to go to the doctor. We go to get our groceries. We need to get our job done anyway. We have some happy days. We have sad days because we are like any random human being and that's exactly what i'm trying to put together as a connection on this podcast like i know that the beginning may sound like you're just talking about the troubles that you face which is true because it's exactly what i'm doing but i'm trying just to recognize them so people can see oh so this is dangerous for this stage of your life and how you should take care of but every single time that i have the chance to speak with a company to explain all these things what what it's really interesting to me is that people it's like so ready to say like oh poor you life has been so hard and i'm like you know i'm kind of done with it like (laughs) we don't need that everyone comes together to give us a massive hug like we just want to work we're gonna we we just want to get our things done and and not having so much unnecessary time explaining or trying to convince people of things that we don't have to convince anyway. So yeah, yeah, well put by the way, on a, on a side note, because you're in the tourism industry and the messaging you have there, um, you know, IGLTA is going to be in uh, uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico in uh, this year. I think it's October. And um, I don't know if you have any plans, but uh, I think it would be great for you to be able to see if you can get on stage and tell some of this story as well. I would love to. I mean, I'm still connected with the the association. I know that they're going to be or holding a, an event on on Puerto Rico this year, yeah. and um, I'm going to try to do my best to try to to show up and be there. I would love to, honestly, because I don't see much representation about the trans community here in Chile, especially when you speak about other other countries, and and there's a lot of going on here right now actually we have the first women uh which is part of our government she is working officially in the government and i know that at some other countries you may say like well that's like not a huge surprise in two ladies (laughs) so as it was the the chance when i was working on um on the company that you met me when i was the commercial manager and i tried to decide to say you know i'm changing my name um i decided to go in this path of my life and I was really scared about say like what are they gonna do they're gonna say something and it was it, everything went really really well so Good. every single time that we have the chance to speak or hear the history of someone who's the community I would like for us to include not just the sad part of it like there's another people doing other things besides and I want to put all these histories on top so everyone can see that too yeah it's wonderful. Well, I, I do hope because I will be in Puerto Rico. So I do hope that uh, if you do make it, there would oh, be a great I... opportunity to meet in the real world. Yeah, it would be amazing to have the chance for us to meet us at the, um, at Puerto Rico. But I'm going to do my best. I can yes. promise you that. It's early. It's <laughs> early in the year. Um, but no, I think it's amazing. I'm so glad you were able to kind of be here and just share a bit of not only your story, but also you know, what you're up to. And I'm going to make sure in the, when we post this, this video, I'm going to make sure the links to uh, not, not just your social media profiles, but especially the Spotify link for this, uh, for your podcast will be there as well. Yeah. I would really appreciate it. And for anyone who can hear the message or, or maybe try to get a connection with, with me, not just because I'm Alejandra, maybe just because I, I come from a, a country, which is Chile, and yeah. it's not that much famous and someone wants to get some kind of report reality or wants to hear our version of how things are being done in here. I'll be more than excited and happy to, to share this with anyone out there. Fantastic. Well, in the meantime, it's great to see you here. And, uh, and again, I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you soon, Matt. Thank you so much for having me. Take care now. And it feels good, so good.